Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to teach you about the web API, RESTful API about e-commerce but before going to further, I'm going to share my membership plan and in this membership I will give you a uh, .NET Core video tutorial, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server or React. It's a full stack development course and not only a simple video tutorial. It's a based on the real-time products and each technology have minimum two products. So you can say that it's a cheapest price that is only uh, do once at a time. I mean to say that uh, only one time fee you can pay and get uh, the .NET Core tutorial, DAPA and rest of the technologies. Okay. If you are belong from India, you can use UPI and if you are belong from other country, just use uh, PayPal. Okay, so limited uh, time you have because I will increase the price of uh, the membership. So if you want to get this membership, just fill this form. So fill this form, your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID, order ID or PayPal ID. And if you are belong from India, just pay using UPI. And if you are belong from other country, just pay using PayPal QR code. And this is my PayPal ID, rinkumar 8500 gmail.com and uh, just get a uh, you know if you want to uh, join this membership just fill this form okay and you get the link of the form in your video description box so must to check your video description and fill the form and get the membership and get unlimited video tutorials and pro with the projects okay and I will give you professional video tutorials, not only, uh, not a simple video tutorial. I will give you a professional video tutorials and uh, it's a roadmap of .NET. Uh, so must to uh, join this uh, if you want to get knowledge as well as the projects or project based training. So hurry up guys. In the last video tutorial, uh, we have already done about the database options. I mean to say that uh, set up your database uh in different environment now in this video tutorial just i'm going to create a entity uh, with the value object and also we have a aggregated uh, values so just come in into in the domain layer so here we have a entities uh, directory and i'm going to add a users directory here new empty file and that is user class so user.cs now here we have a user class and just create a shield class. Uh, I mean to say that a shield class does not inherit, okay, cannot inherit you can say. So you can say that uh, a user class is cannot inherit and also not in its, uh, instantiated outside the, outside the class. So just create a private constructor here like that. So if you have a private constructor, so you can you can say that uh, that class object cannot instantiate it outside the class. Okay. So also we just add a value objects in a in a uh, in form of a reference a type. So I'm going to create a reference type here, and that is public username here. Uh, generally, we can say uh, just type it here that is string username. But right now, I'm going to create a username type. Username that is the username. Okay. And here we have a username. So uh, that is a type here. So username is what? That is a class in value object. So just create a reference type here. So create add a new empty file that is username dot cs file now you can say that here we have a class that is the username now i'm going to create further method but right now i'm going to create a user class here so just control dot and dissolve the namespace errors now i'm going to create a control d again for your email like that and here i'm going to add email also we just create a email class here add a new empty file email.cs now in users we just remove oops okay that's cool 
now email oops username just reverse it here username username and email here okay now the third parameter is the password hash so just use password hash okay now this create a password hash class here okay that's cool okay so here we have a username email and the password now i want to create uh, the users okay so i want to uh, I want to create a object of that class. So if you want to create a object of that class because uh, outside you are not permitted to create an object of that class because here we have a private constructor. But right now I'm going to create a static method here like that public static at return actually user object. So just public static user and create. Okay inside a create method you have a user id that type is also user id is also a reference type but later on i will discuss it on it okay that is a user id that is you can say id oops id and email username uh, also we have a username instead of uh, username email and uh, there is no need to add a password here you want to create a user and just return it actually user object so where user equals to new user and uh, inside it you can take it id and username and email okay so a private constructor have these fields like id that is user id okay so first of all i want to create a user id and you all know about a user id user id is related to your entity id i mean to say that user id is required in uh, approximate uh, uh, entity so that you can say that it is a type of entity ids so just right now i'm going to create a reference here that is user id type so just create a user id here user id okay user id oops, user id dot cs file and now I want to create a user ID. It's not a class actually here. It's a structure type. So, so that we can not change further. Because the structure is a immutable type or the value type. Okay. So read only. Sorry. You can say okay. Read only. Make it read only also. Read only record. And record you know it's a immutable type. It's not immutable. So you can use struct here. And user id is actually have a private constructor also so make it private and user id and user id inside it you can take a guid id okay now after that you can say uh, that is a public property value so prop and that is the uh, guid okay it's a type of guid that is value here uh, value here and just return it only read operation that cannot uh, set outside the class only inside the class you can set it okay but you know that here we have a public that is value so you can read outside but not set inside it here so uh, just create a uh, static class here so just use public static by using the static method you can just uh, create a object of the user id so just you can create user id here so inside the user id you can just pass a um, you know uh, it's a method so user id id is here and return it back to uh, object of the user id so return new user id and that return the id here so here new user id i mean to say that call it user id now set a value here value equals to id okay that's cool now uh, here we have a user id 
and user id is inherited by uh, you can say i entity type of id i entity type of id is a uh, abstract class okay so inside the i entity type i entity um, i entity id here i entity id okay so now i entity id is a type of t so you can make it here user id okay so here we have a uh, structure just pass it here inside the i entity id i entity ids is also a part of entity ids or you can say that base type okay so make it a base type that is entity id uh, further we will discuss on on it okay so just remove from here so you know that it's a structure type and report type why we make it structure and report here because you know that uh, structure is a type of value and record is immutable type also make it a read only so you can say that it's not uh, changed after uh, submit the value okay and uh, outside the use uh, outside the class you cannot create a object of that class because it's a private so that you can use a uh, public static method that is create and pass it to the GUID here and just create a object of that user id now just come back to the user class here and here we have a user id like that so entity ids like that okay and create a new user id that is id here and username 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 and that is email email okay that's cool now you can say here we have a it written back to the user so just you can scroll user okay so that's cool so here we we use value type uh, properties uh, so username email and password has is the type of value objects okay uh, further we will discuss on that username email and the passwords now here you can see that here we have a sealed user class and sealed sealed user class is also have a reference type username emails and password username email password is a type of value objects so you can say that username is a value object so now i am going to create a value object here value object it's a uh, it's a class value object is a class so just i am going to create a value object class okay so uh, this time i'm going to create a value object uh, of the base type so just right click on the base type add a new empty file that is value object.cs and that value object is a abstract class public abstract class value object and the value object is inherit with the i equitable interface and it's a type of uh, value object so i want to uh, implement that interface first implement interface with these values like equals okay so that you can say that each of the reference type or you can say value object is a sealed class and inherit with the value object uh, value object okay and like that just copy that code value object and value object is actually implemented by the i equitable interface so here we go just use control dot base type and also here we have a email email is also make it a sealed class and that is value object okay now see in the next video where we will discuss about the value objects what we uh, what is the purpose of the value object here okay so see in the next video